generic greetings fellow citizens of the internet. Here, as you can see, I've got some footage from the Pale Blue Dot server of me clearing some land behind my current base of operations. I mentioned this in my last Pale Blue Dot video, but this is what I planned on doing. I'm clearing the vegetation from an area 7 chunks wide and 8 chunks long, and then I'll fill in the lakes and level the hills so that I have a nice, flat, grassy building area to work with. Right now, I'm cutting down the last of the big trees in the area, having already gotten rid of the undergrowth and the smaller trees. I plan to do most of the work off camera, but I wanted to make a quick video to discuss some stuff anyway, so I figured I'd show a bit of it. At any rate, let me begin by saying that I'm not really a mod person. I never have been. I went through a phase where I dabbled in Mistcraft a bit, because I grew up with the Mist games and I thought the dynamic worked really well in Minecraft. But even that was pretty short-lived. I went back to vanilla before too long, and I've pretty much not touched mods before or after that. However, recently I began hearing a lot about what seems to be more or less the new thing in the parts of the Minecraft community I frequent, Feed the Beast, or FTB. This is, for anyone who doesn't already know, a mega mod pack that more or less does right what Tekkit did not so right. It includes 37 mods, including Buildcraft, Industrialcraft, Raise Minimap, Not Enough Items, Computercraft, The Portal Mod, and interestingly, Mistcraft. All the mods are compatible, at least mostly, and all mixed together into a very different and infinitely more complex game than Vanilla Minecraft. I've been watching the Feed the Beast videos of Avidia, Blame the Controller, and Etho, and I found it intriguing enough that I decided to check it out myself. I downloaded it, and a friend and I started playing, and we didn't stop. The amount of content that's in there is astonishing. You're never going to hit the end of it, and there's so much to do, so much to explore, so much to build, and each mod is so complex, and so many things are compatible with other bits, and you can do so much. Long story short, I've played almost no vanilla Minecraft for a while now. FTB is absolutely amazing, and I've barely even scratched the surface. However, I realize that my videos are getting lost in the shuffle. I'm not keeping up with the Daily Loaf the way I was or would want to, and I haven't done too much on Pale Blue Dot either. So I've decided that if I'm not going to be working on them anyway, I may as well formally put them on the back burner temporarily. I'll be putting out episodes, but a bit more rarely, and I'll be focusing on a new project. Uh, can I get some echo or something? Okay, here we go. FTB, FTB Major. Major! Thing is, I've got some pet peeves with this whole deal. The videos I've seen all fall into one or more of the following traps. One, the person tries to do something I already know how to do and fails so miserably it's frustrating to watch. Two, they casually discuss stuff that I haven't the slightest clue about without any explanation whatsoever. Or three, they go into agonizing detail about something I already fully understand. Now, I want to avoid all of those if I can. So I'm actually going to be making two series of videos, FTB Major and FTB Crash Course. FTB Crash Course will take place in a creative world, and it will attempt to efficiently and succinctly explain the knowledge and information relevant to the corresponding episode of FTB Major. That is to say, if I start building a Buildcraft quarry in FTB Major, I will have explained the basics of Buildcraft and how said quarry works in the previous corresponding video of FTB Crash Course. So if you're new to the whole FTB thing, and you don't know a quarry from a mining turtle, the Crash Course videos will give you the information you need and hopefully explain it in a way that is relevant and that makes sense. However, if you happen to already know all the stuff covered in a given Crash Course video, just skip right to the FTB Major episode. Then, if I begin working with stuff you don't understand in that episode, you can always go back to the Crash Course video, and I probably will have covered it there. In this way, I'll avoid trying to jam explanations into my gameplay that would be too short and ultimately unhelpful for some, and, on the other hand, frustratingly time-consuming for others. Also, for FDB Major, I have actually already gotten a world started. Everyone's seen the beginning steps of Minecraft, of chopping a couple trees, digging a hole in the ground to be a temporary home, mining, making a farm, and building a couple pens for animals, and I've done all that off camera. Nothing fancy, but everything reasonably functional. I didn't touch any of the mods yet, though. This means that after I've briefly gone over what I've done, I'll be able to get right into beginning building and focusing on the mods and so forth, without having to take the time to go through the boring hours of mining and tending farms and so on. Finally. If I want to do something, I promise to know what I'm doing enough to get it done, and if I don't, I promise to stop and look it up, because everyone's already seen people bumbling about without a clue. It's amusing and it's got its place, but with Feed the Beast, it's everywhere right now, and it seems to me that it's more annoying and counterproductive than anything else, especially with mods like Buildcraft, Industrialcraft, and perhaps Mistcraft. So you probably won't be getting my first impressions for the most part, 
but I will know what I'm doing and I'll be able to focus on getting things done. So, look forward to seeing those videos coming out at some point sometime soon. And with that, with all the Daleks, Queen Chrysalis, and Cthulhu himself as my witnesses, I bid you farewell for now.